What a time for those who make notes on the iPad. Just a couple of weeks back, Notability came up with version 14 of their app. I made a video about that, you can check that out. And now GoodNotes has come up with the much awaited GoodNotes 6. If you follow my channel, you know that I use GoodNotes for all my reading and note taking purposes. It is my most favorite app and having a new generation is quite exciting. So let's talk about all the new features in this app. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you whether you should purchase GoodNotes 6 or not if you're buying it for the first time, or if you already have GoodNotes 5, whether you should upgrade from GoodNotes 5 to GoodNotes 6 or not. My name is Chisel. You are watching The Tech Doctor. Let's begin. So when you update the app, this is what you see. They show you some slides about the new features and ask you to try GoodNotes 6 for free. Mind you, even if you have already purchased GoodNotes 5, you get only a 7 days free trial. You will have to purchase the new version. You can either take an annual subscription or a lifetime subscription with one-time payment. But even this one-time lifetime payment does not mean that you will get GoodNotes 7 for free. That's something a lot of people including me will not be happy about. Loyalty to an app should be rewarded with free updates. Good notes, if you are watching this, please provide us with free updates. Notability is knocking right at your door with new updates. Think about it. Now let's first talk about the user interface. You have a side navigation bar now where you can see your documents, uh, favorites. The search option is now here. Earlier it used to be at the top right. Your shared documents and marketplace where you see all your templates, stickers and planners which you will need to purchase. Some are available for free as well. The folders have a new look. You can change the colors, add icons and make them look fancy. Notebooks also now have a changed appearance. Remaining options in the overall interface remains pretty much the same. Now let's get into the real deal inside the note. You immediately notice the new look. The tabs have gone to the top with the center menu bar containing only writing, typing and audio record options. The undo redo buttons have shifted to the third row along with the pens. In the pen options, they have added scribble to erase where you just scribble while writing and it will erase the text. It's a lovely feature and you do not need to use the undo button or use an eraser. Just scribble it and continue writing. Although scribbling like this isn't a good habit as my school teacher used to say, but we can't resist every time and good notes is making the most of it. Then they have added AI handwriting recognition with spell check, which will correct your handwritten notes and rewrite it trying to match your handwriting. They say it works best if you have a lot of handwritten words on the page. So if you are writing and you misspell it, a red line appears under the word, you tap on it and it will show you the options. You click the option, it will rewrite the word. The handwriting isn't exactly like your own, but it works, I guess. And soon they are planning to bring a feature where AI will complete the word for you in case you forget the spelling. I'm waiting for that. Then is eraser, that is the same. Highlighter, that is the same. You have a shape tool to add shapes. Just draw and hold for a second and you get the shape. There's an option to uh, keep the hold option or get the shape immediately as well. So sometimes you, it's up to you whether you want to hold for a while when you draw a shape or you want to get the shape immediately. Then you have the lasso tool. Now here you have a major update. You don't need to select this lasso tool all the time now. You can simply draw around with the pencil, tap on it and you have a lasso activated immediately. So it gives you a lot of freedom and saves a lot of time. So just draw around whatever you want to select, tap on that circle and you have the lasso tool activated. Then you have elements just as before, you can add stickers as you like. Then image, text, zoom in view, laser pointer, pretty much the same. Then you have your presets, you can have three thicknesses and as many colors as you like for your pens and highlighters just as before. No update here. The options on the right side are the same. The new feature here in the options is the template option. You have a redesigned pop-up for it. You can change the size of the page. You can now choose any color you like for the page. Earlier they used to have limited options. Now it's up to your imagination. Choose whichever color out of the spectrum that you like. And you can choose different colors for the foreground and the background. And that is amazing. See, like you can see the dot is in different color. You can choose the color of the dot as well. And you can choose the color of the background. So a lot of customization options are now available. 
Now there are some features that will be really useful if you are a mathematics or an engineering student. But now you have some practice materials as well for public exams like SAT and DSE. No idea what they are. AI math assistance as well. Good notes can now solve equations for you and check your calculations. I don't know whether it's good or bad to have so much AI involved, but yeah, that's the world we live in and you have all these features in good notes now. AI is the future. So yeah, that's all about the update. I did not notice any major improvement in handwriting tools. I'll test it out further. And there are apparently no new features for reading PDFs and annotating. So with all these new features, is it worth upgrading from GoodNotes 5 to GoodNotes 6? I would say if you're a medical student, then maybe you can think about it. Not definitely. If you have some extra cash, if you like to stay up to date, if you want the latest features, then you can upgrade. But it's not a necessity. GoodNotes 5 is as good you can do with it as well. But if you're a mathematics or an engineering student, then this upgrade will be really worth for you because there are some amazing AI mathematics tools in this along with other features. So it becomes a wholesome upgrade for you guys. So go for it. And if you are coming to the note taking market for the first time, if you want to try a new app, whether you should go for good notes or notability or Flexil or other any other app, then I would say Good Notes is the best app available if you see the overall experience of it. I have made a lot of videos talking about it earlier. I won't go into the details, but the wholesome experience of reading books, annotating, making notes and everything you need to study on the iPad. Good Notes serves your purpose. It is still the best app out there and it is not a paid review. I'm not a big YouTuber. <laughs> That's all for this video. Until next time, my name is Chisel. You are watching The Tech Doctor. Namaste.